In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a QR code in QR5. So the first step would be to go to the QR5 website, which is qrfi.com, pronounced qrfy.com. Now, inside here, we're going to make a QR code. As you can see, you can make a QR code to many different things. The first one is URL, and then we have text, Wi-Fi, vCard, PDF, SMS, and so on and so forth. It would be, of course, logical to select the one you need. For me, it's going to be URL right now. It's a bit different for whatever you would like to do, but it's still pretty easy, and just you can just have to follow the instructions. For me, I'm going to give it a URL, so the QR code will, se will send us to a URL. And the specific URL we're going to use is, of course, going to be youtube.com, okay? Now, as you can see, it will give you a kind of an error if you type that. It says URL must start with HTTP or HTTPS. Now, the way you get this and the easiest way to fix this error is to simply copy your URL from wherever you are. So, you want to copy your website URL and you'll be good to go, as you can see. Then, what you want to do over here is customize the style and template. So you can either have, either have it blank, as you can see, with no frame, and here on the right, by the way, it's always updating, and you can always see what your QR code currently looks like. <clears throat> you wanna simply select a frame, so if you don't want any, you can leave it as this, or if you want a frame, you can simply add one by clicking on it easily, okay? Now, let's say I want this one over here, and then you can also edit it. So as you can see, the text can say whatever. So for me, it's going to say YouTube. And then the text color can be whatever you pick. You can either type it in manually or click on this kind of white-ish uh, rectangle. And you can select the color you'd like. I'm going to select red because red is the color of YouTube. Now, you can also select if you want to use gradients for the background color. For me, I'm not going to do this right now, but I'm going to select a solid color, and it's going to be, let's say, blue. There we go. It doesn't look the best, but it will do for this tutorial. You can also select what you want the background color to be, which is the background of this QR code. Now, you can either leave it as transparent, or you can give it a background. So let's now give it a background. You have to uncheck the transparent background, and give it, let's say, a yellow background. As you can see, we now have the background of our QR code. Now, that was the first step, is to add the frame. The second one, you can change the shapes of your um, QR code. So as you can see, this one's the default one, but if I change it, my QR code is changing completely, as you can see, and all of these are available. You can pick whichever you want. Each and every single one will work just like the other, or just like the default one. For this instance, I'm going to pick this one. Now, as you can see, yet again, you can change the border color over here. Let's say I want it red as well. And you can change the background color here too. I want it uh, light blue. There we go. It, you can also make it transparent if you highlight this, as you can see, if you want to. And then you can switch these and you can do whatever you'd like, as you can see. Even these are changing with that. And then you can also play with the corners. So the border style can be the one you like. In my case, it's the default, but you can change it, let's say to this teardrop icon, and the center style can also be uh, selected. So I'm gonna pick a heart right now, and as you can see, it's changing here as well. You can also, again, change the border colors, and you can change the background color too. So as you can see, that's very customizable. You can do whatever you would like. Then. Once you've done this, the next step is to add your logo. Now you can choose from here, if you, for example, have a link to a WhatsApp or Wi-Fi or something like this, or you can simply press this plus and upload your logo from your computer, and it will appear here in the middle. Now I'm going to leave this as it is, so without any logos, okay? Or let's put a QR code for this instance, okay? Then we have the level over here, and as you can see, you can kind of change this and it will kind of um, make different levels of this. So these are pretty much sizes. As you can see, it says how much percentage there is and then it changes um, according to what you pick over here. Now you can pick this if you want to or not, it doesn't matter. And then once you are done, what you want to do is simply press download QR and then you will have to, of course, log into Google. So for me, I'm going to sign up with my Gmail account over here which is the fastest way to do it. 
and then as you can see it will show my uh, QR code here yet again I want to press this download button and you want to download it as a PNG usually or if you want any other format that's fine as well and you can also press custom download if you want a custom download then press download and that's it as you can see my QR code has been downloaded and saved to my computer now that's pretty much it I hope this video helped you out and if it did please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well